In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make your own animated GIFs in Pixelmator Pro. Now, you might call them GIFs, and there is some debate about how it's pronounced, but the inventor of this file format did call them GIFs, so that's what I call them, but both are accepted. Let me know which one you like to say down in the comments. Now, what is a GIF and why would you wanna make one? Basically, a GIF is a graphical file, but that feels like a very low res video and it's very lightweight. You probably use GIFs all the time, when you're texting funny things to your friends. But besides trying to get a laugh, there's other situations where GIFs are super helpful. For instance, you can't upload video files in the main Instagram newsfeed, but you can upload GIFs. Same thing for YouTube community posts. If you subscribe to my channel, you probably see these from me all the time. I can't upload actual videos to YouTube in those community posts. So I upload GIFs to promote my content instead. So now that you know what GIFs are, let me show you how to make them in Pixelmator Pro. So let's start by making a new document in Pixelmator Pro. And I'm going to go for a square aspect ratio with a thousand by 1000 pixel size and hit create. Next up, I'm going to add my video file to my layers panel. And this video file is much larger than my frame. So I'm going to zoom out here and scale it down and reposition it. Now, because this is a video file, at the bottom of my canvas here in Pixelmator, I get a play button where I can play my video. Now this is a pretty long clip and I would like to trim the edge of it because usually GIFs are really short, right? So I'm going to hit this button here and now I have this edit video window where I can trim my video content. So I want the shot to start right at the beginning of the action and I wanna trim off a lot of the end. And you can see as I drag this blue bar, the new duration of my clip, it's about two and a half seconds long. All right, I'm gonna click away from that to close that window and let's play again. And you can see now the video just loops. Now I wanna add some text to this video file. So I'm gonna head over to the type tool and I'm gonna be set to a blocky font and let's add our text. And I'm going to highlight the text in my canvas and scale it up and then switch to the arrange tool to reposition it. And if you want, head on over to the style tools and maybe add a stroke to the outside. And there we go, that looks fun, right? Now we just need to set our export. So I'm going to hit Command E to export. We're gonna get this window. I'm gonna name this. And down here under the format settings, we need to make some changes. So right now I'm set to PNG. I wanna to switch to animated GIF. Now it's very important, you're not on this GIF here. You wanna be on the animated GIF. And the next option we need to think about is the frame rate. The higher the frame rate, the more clarity your GIF is going to have. However, it's also gonna result in a bigger file size. So you really need to think about what is the end use of the GIF at this point. If you're uploading it to Instagram or to a YouTube community post, I say go for a bigger file with more clarity. But if you're trying to make a funny GIF that you're gonna be texting to your friends, then you're going to want to compress this to be super small because when you're texting stuff from your phone, first of all, it's gonna take a while to send a text message with a big file, but also that file is gonna live on your phone and your friend's phone and you're gonna be taking up a lot of space. They're gonna get very upset with you. So I say compress a GIF that you're using just for texting. So let me just show you the difference in output between the two. So on this one, I'm going to stay on a 60 frames per second frame rate and I'm going to leave it at the original size and let's export. It's a really quick export and I'm going to select it on my desktop and hit the space bar to play it. So that's how that one looks. And we can see the size of that GIF is pretty large, it's 55 megabytes. If you're gonna be texting a GIF to someone, you wanna be talking kilobytes, not megabytes. So let's try exporting this again. I'm gonna hit Command E and I'm gonna call this OK Buddy Small. On the frame rate, let's change this down to like 10. And on size, let's go from original size to scaled and change it from 100% to let's say 20% and export that. And while this one is exporting, if you feel like you're learning something here, give me a like, subscribe and ring the bell. And now we have a much smaller file. 
So that's how you make animated GIFs in Pixelmator Pro. What other topics from Pixelmator do you want me to cover? I'm gonna be making a lot more Pixelmator content on this channel. Let me know down in the comments. In the meantime, here's some other videos I know you're gonna love. I'll see you again.